Hey guys, it's Erica. I hope everyone had a fabulous New Year's and Christmas and enjoyed all the holidays. I have been so busy. I apologize for not posting more videos, but I had a subscriber message me and she was wanting to know how to use like the special characters or the glyphs within Cricut Design Space. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick overview on how to do that. Um, but before we jump in, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It lets you guys know when I do upload new videos. I was trying to shoot for every Friday, but things got so crazy with the holiday season, I just wasn't able to keep up with that schedule. I'm hoping now with the new year and going forward, I can start sticking to Fridays. Um, so without further ado, let's jump in and get started. So now I have Cricut Design Space already loaded on the computer. So what you're gonna wanna do is you can go, there's a few different websites with, which I have shown in other videos, um, specifically using like defont.com. Um, you can go download fonts from them. The specific font that I'm gonna be working with today is on defont.com. And so I'm gonna go ahead and load Safari, which is down here. You can use whatever web browser of your choice, Google, Chrome, it all works the same. I'm gonna to go to defont.com. And I know spe the specific font that I'm working with. However, you can go through, there's thousands and thousands of, thousands of fonts through the website. And you can go ahead and find whichever one you want. The one that I'm specifically looking for is called MF I Love Glitter. So right here in the top right hand corner, I'm gonna just type in the font. So it's gonna be this one right here. And then what you do is you're gonna go ahead and click on it. And keep in mind, this says free for personal use. So right here, it tells you if you're trying to purchase um, like a commercial license, this is gonna be where you need to purchase so you can use it commercially. Otherwise, you just need to use this for personal use. So if you notice down here, if you scroll down onto font.com, it has all these different keys, right? It shows you when you push these, this is what shows up. So, in order for you to have like these extra swirls and hearts like as shown right here, you have to go down here and look for them. So when you use these symbols, that's gonna give you the hearts and the extra and those are what we call glyphs or they're extra characters. So <clears throat> what you can do is you can decide which ones you want and you can keep this up for reference or you can print the page out for reference to whatever helps you. Um, I, in the beginning, there were certain fonts that I used a lot. This was one of them. So I memorized a handful of keys that I constantly used. But it's always good to either you can screenshot it, take a picture, um, print it. it. It's better than just going to the website constantly. I would suggest doing one of those. So what we're gonna do, if you haven't already downloaded it, you're gonna download the font. I can, um, I'll put up in the cards and uh, down in the section below, a link for the video showing you how to download a font. I'm not gonna go over it in this video, but I have a video on how to download fonts from Defont and get them into Cricut Design Space. So anyways, like I said, I already have it downloaded. So we're gonna go now into Cricut Design Space. And we're gonna go over here to text and we're gonna type in a text. So the key that I want to use is, we're gonna start off with, I want, oops, this line right here. So you're gonna find that on your keyboard. We're gonna type it in. And obviously it's showing kind of weird because I don't have under my fonts, I don't have the I love glitter. So. We're gonna change the font to the MF I Love Glitter. And I don't know why it's not, oh wait, I didn't hit search, that was my fault. Okay, maybe under my computer it's just I Love Glitter. Oh, it's under I love glitter. 
I have the paid version of it, so maybe that's why it's popping up in mine under just I Love Glitter. Either way, you get the idea. You'll just have to look for it. So now see, instead of drawing that like bracket, it's drawing like the, the squiggly line. So then at this point, you can type in per se a name. So let's do, we'll do my husband's name. So then the name's gonna pop up right there. And then let's say, let's go back over here and I wanna do this heart in between it because I like the way that heart looks. So again, it's this line that's not, that's gonna be, um, I don't know exactly what that's called. It's gonna be one of your special extra keys on the computer that's not gonna be an L or an I. So we'll go back into Cricut Design Space We'll type that, oops, wrong one. And now it's gonna do the heart and then I'm gonna type my name. And then I want the line that goes out on the other side. We'll go ahead and shrink this down so you can see it. And I want the other line. So if you go over here and you notice the line goes the other way right here, you're gonna go ahead and type that other bracket, the opposite bracket as the first one. You're gonna type it right there. Oops, wrong bracket. And now it looks like that. Perfect, that's what I want so far. But as you can notice, this is super important and this is something that I think every person when they're learning Cricut Design Space makes the mistake of. And that's not welding the letters together. So right now, for whatever reason, Cricut Design Space separates your letters. And I think that's why that's the biggest mistake that everyone that's new to Cricut Design Space makes is because for whatever reason, they automatically separate cursive letters. So there's two ways to do that. Again, I can leave a card to a link on how to use weld and how to kind of like mesh the letters together a little bit better. Like it goes more into detail. But basically there's a couple ways that you can do it. Okay, I personally like to use letter space. So you're gonna go ahead and shrink the letters down. And it takes a minute to catch up. So you can start with. But if you notice, you can, I can, I mean, you can go down to zero. But if you notice, the letters are starting to get closer and closer together. And you just wanna kind of play with it until the letters are touching. See how it's starting to slowly look better and better? So now at this point, they're all touching. And if you wanna go, cause it's a little bit off right there, you can try one more and see what it looks like. And I think that's good. I'm gonna actually, no, I'll just leave it like that. That's fine. So now you have all those letters together. Now keep in mind, once you weld this together, this is one entire piece. You can't edit it after you weld it, but that's okay because this needs to be one solid piece. So we're gonna go ahead down here in the bottom right-hand corner and push weld. Now that this will come out when you send it over to, when you send it out to make it, right, which is in the top um, right-hand corner, it's gonna be one cohesive piece. Okay, you guys, I apologize. The last part of the video got cut off. But anyways, that is how you use the special characters and the glyphs in Cricut Design Space. If you guys have any other questions, please leave them down in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!